Going back to work after having a baby can create a lot of guilt. Believe me, I know, I really do. So today we are gonna find out what it takes to be happy and why that is so important for your family. Dr. Kathy Greenberg is a behavioral scientist and co-author of What Happy Working Mothers Know, how new findings in positive psychology can lead to a healthy and happy work-life balance. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you, thank you for having thank me. Thank you for coming in. When I heard you were coming, I thought, oh, this is great because I've felt so much guilt since I went back to work after my daughter was born seven years ago and then my son came after and I know I'm not the only mom who feels this. Absolutely. So first you say whether or not moms choose to work, it's important for them to be happy. You need to be happy. How does this affect not only them but their family? Well, being happy is not only a word, but it's a formula in the book, H-A-P-P-Y. And H stands for being healthy. Really understanding what is one thing you can do every day that's going to help you be healthier. Sometimes it's drinking more water or walking outside or eating less salt or sugar. Whatever it is for you, you will know and it will help you build your health, which is a key to your happiness. Then you have the A, which is adaptive. What can you give up in a day? What can you take off your plate so that you can say, I've had a successful day? The P's are proud of your family. You know, raising a family has become a competitive sport. It really has. And we have to really recognize that it is not. Yeah. Raising our children means being happy okay. with them just the way they are. And sitting on the sidelines and saying, I know you can be better, is not necessarily going to make us or them happier. So it's accepting them for who they are and finding something good about what they do every day. And then the other P is proud of your work, knowing that whatever strength you have, whether you're using it now or when you go back to work, that's your strength no matter what. And then young at heart. Laugh at yourself. Don't take yourself too seriously. I laugh at myself all the time. Good. So does everyone else. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. And choice is important when it comes to happiness. Yes. Why is that? You know, we tell children, it's important for them to make the right choices. But as a happy adult, if we're not making the right choices to model what our happiness looks like, how are we going to raise happy children? The choice that we're talking about as adults and mothers are the choices that we need to make from our heart, delivering on our sense of purpose in life, whether we choose to be mothers and stay at home, or whether we choose to be mothers and go to work. And the idea here is choose for yourself. Often we choose what someone else wants for us or what someone else thinks we can do versus what we know in our hearts is best for us. So staying with choice right now, if you do choose to be a stay-at-home mom, how then um, can you stay happy? What do you need to do to stay happy? There are a lot of things you can do to stay happy, but number one, don't ever give up on your dreams for yourself. You hear, and I'm sure you've seen this, parents living through their children. Mm -hmm. And that's where that sportsmanship and, and competition comes in. We have to recognize that keeping our dreams alive, whether we have to think about them in the future or whether we can actually do them concurrently with whatever it is we're doing at the moment, being a mom at home or mom at work, and recognize that not letting go of those dreams is a really important part of our happiness and sustaining us for the long term. And, and you say, well, life happens, things are going to happen. You, you, you shouldn't focus or dwell on the negative. That's right. Um, it seems simple, but I think a lot of women don't take oh, their own yeah. advice or that yeah. advice. Here's the secret. What we focus on in life becomes our reality, our experience. Mm -hmm. So choose every day to focus on one small thing that was good in the day instead of doing what we always do, which is focusing on all the things we didn't do well. What do you tell women who want everything to be just so? My family, my work, my, my children, it has to be perfect. We live in a society where we are told from small children that perfect is wonderful, perfect is the best, perfect is that which we want to all achieve, when in reality perfect doesn't exist. It never has and it never will. Perfect is a job done well, not a job done perfectly. What can moms do to really get on the track for happiness? Well, there's a couple of things they can start to do right away. And one is find their foundation for happiness. And that's going back to their values. Many people haven't done a values assessment in a long time. So think about, in your life, what do you value? Do you, do you really value what you do as a job? Or do you value being in a relationship? Do you value being a parent? Do you value cooking? And you have to start thinking about how much time and money 
you're actually attributing and spending on those things you value because sometimes our happiness is out of whack because mm -hmm. the things we say we love to do, not we're really. not spending time doing. You have given me and all of the women out there a lot to think about today. Dr. Biber, thank, oh, thank you, you so much for coming in. It's really my appreciate honor. It. And to read more, you can pick up a copy of What Happy Working Mothers Know. Thank you so much for watching Parents TV. We'll see you again soon.